Hello viewers, you welcome to this lecture. In today's lecture, we'll look at the external anatomy and physiology of the reptiles, particularly the agama lizard, agama, agama. And we'll also look at the uh, internal anatomical features and the classification of these organisms. Now, the agama lizard uh, is a very unique type of uh, reptile or lizard it has both the male type and the female type this is the female agama lizard uh, basically it has uh, greenish patches on its head and a yellowish uh, color uh, and it's trunk and it's brownish in color brownish in color but has greenish patches on its head and it has uh, a very uh, long uh, uh, yellow patch in its trunk and the tail is completely brown though it has a light brown coloration at the bottom then the male agama lizard basically has a reddish head and ha it has a crest and uh, the reddish it has a reddish head a uh, purplish uh, trunk and the tail uh, has a light uh, color and a red color close to the tip and a purple color at the tip now these two lizards are actually basking in the sun they're actually basking in the sun and why do they have to bask in the sun it's because they are cold-blooded organisms reptiles are known to be cold-blooded organisms they are said to be cold-blooded another word for cold-blooded is poikilothermic they are poikilothermic or you can say they are exothermic or ectothermic. So the lizards are reptiles and they are said to be poikilothermic. They are unable to regulate their internal temperature. And as such, they would have to bask continuously in the sun to regulate their temperature, to increase their body temperature, to carry out metabolic activities. Now, these lizards are uh, classified into the phylum Chordata, and Chordates are organisms that possess notochord, that possess uh, a notochord in the uh, embryonic stage or as adults, that possess pharyngeal slates, a dorsal hollow nerve cord, and post anal tail. Just as you can see in these uh, lizards, they have a tail that extends beyond the anus. So they are said to possess a post-anal tail. They are said to possess a post-anal tail. Now, these lizards, let us look at the external anatomy of these lizards. The lizards have a scaly body. Their bodies are scaly, made up of dry scales. And they have uh, eyes that have eyelids which uh, make, distinguishes them from the amphibians. The amphibians have lidless eyes. Amphibians have eyes that they cannot close. But these reptiles are more advanced than the amphibians in that they have eyes that have lids. And their digits, the digits in their foot, they have five digits feet. Their digits are made up of, their toes are made up of five digits. They are that's said to be tetrapods because they have two hind limbs and two forelimbs, okay? And they have clawed digits. 